You know what? Those of you who are leaders, by the way, I might as well interject this. If you're a leader in any capacity, you need to understand that you never treat everybody the same. If anybody has ever told you, treat everyone exactly alike, it's just fair. No, don't do that. Why? Because we're wired differently. We're all different. We have different situations. We have different things that we take with us. Folks, when I was a youth pastor, I, I had, uh, for some reason, I had a number of sets of twins in my youth group. And one particular set of twins, there was one gal, uh, Amanda, man, I could just get in her face. Just like, what are you doing? Straighten up. And, and she would, oh, well, now you straighten up. You know, it was just, you know, it was kind of that. That was our relationship. Her twin sister, identical twin sister. If I were to say the same thing to her, she would cry. She'd be in the fetal position in the corner of the youth room. And she's like, well, she's done. So I learned, even though they were, they were separated by minutes, they were totally different people. And so how I would have to deal with one twin would be way different than how I dealt with the other. Leaders, you need to understand this. How you might deal with somebody under your authority is going to be way different than you might deal with somebody else. Both are valid. Both are valid. This is part about being a leader, by the way. Part of being a leader is having the discernment of God to know not only what to say, but how to say it and when to say it. And you see this exhibited beautifully by Paul, where the Corinthians, he can say, what are you doing, Galatians? No, oh, you fools, Colossians, I love you. <laughs> so he knew what he was doing, and it's a great model.